Love here, here to share with you how to make this shabby chic memo board. And what you will need is a canvas, a piece of lace to cover your canvas, some sparkle Mod Podge, a paintbrush, hot glue, ribbon, embellishments, and clothespins. I start by covering my canvas with some the Extreme Sparkle Mod Podge, and I do give it two coats. You can't really see on the video and from the, the photos, but while it's hanging on my wall, the glitter does show through the lace quite beautifully, and I do love it. So, don't skip this step. <laughs> now, I'm going to use this beautiful pink lace. I just love it. I've been hoarding it, so I thought, well, if I'm going to make this for my room, I'm going to use my favorite lace. So, I start on one edge, and I hot glue it down. And then I'm not going to do the corners yet, so I'm just going to do the edges. Now I'm going to go um, to the opposite edge so that I can pull it tight when I glue it down. Because you want it to be stretched across the canvas. So I'm just going to glue down all of the edges like that. And, um, you know, it's handy to have a little spatula there so you don't burn yourself. <laughs> you know, it, it happens. So please be careful. Now once you get all of the edges glued down, you're going to flip it over and we're going to trim off the excess lace just so there's no, not so much um, bulk back there. You know, I mean, I guess you could have cut it better to fit in the beginning, but that's not really how I roll. So I kind of like to just Cut it and then go back and trim it after I get it glued. But I'm still leaving enough to wrap around the back because I want to be able to glue it down um, to the back side. And then I'm going to um, snip down the middle of the corners just so that they will uh, lay down more nicely and not be so bulky on the back of the canvas. And you snip almost up to the canvas, but not quite. You don't want any of the canvas peeking through on the front. And now I'm going to just pull it tight and glue it onto um, the back. Please use a spatula and not your fingers like I'm doing here. That is not, no, don't do that. <laughs> and I do like to do opposite. Um, ends just you know to pull it tight that's just how I do it and now for the corners I just kind of fold it in on itself but now that the uh, corner has that slit in it it's much easier to deal with I am going to use a ribbon lace um, to put on the front of my canvas that will hold my clothespins on, but you could use um, twine, fabric strips, 
any kind of ribbon or lace or anything that you want. I'm just keeping mine very shabby chic. So I wanted to use um, actually the last of one of my favorite ribbon laces that I have for mine. But I, om I was going to use some jute twine, but I changed my mind. You know, Amy loves shabby chic instead of like country shabby chic. So here is the ribbon lace that I'm going to use and I'm just going to glue it to one side and then pull it diagonal across my canvas tightly and glue it down to the other side. Now, um, I don't measure in between the strips. I just kind of eyeball it, but feel free to measure if you need them to be evenly spaced apart. <laughs> I just don't, so it just doesn't matter to me. But I know that for some of you, it matters. Now you also could do a crisscross pattern on the front of your canvas and make like little diamond shapes. But um, I'm not going to do that because I'm not using small uh, clothespins, I'm using uh, big ones. So if I put all the crisscross, uh, if I crisscross my ribbon on the front of this canvas, I really wouldn't have enough room to clip my clips on. And plus, I don't think I have enough of this lace to make a crisscross pattern across the front because I want to also cover the edges with it. So I'm just going to do the diagonal strips. finish off the edging with that same uh, lace ribbon. It's just so pretty. And then I embellish it with a couple doilies and some of my handmade singed flowers and then some um, pretty pink clothes pins. And I love the way it turned out. It's just so pretty hanging in my room. I just love it. So I, it's very easy to make and it's super cute. So I hope that you give it a try. And please leave me a comment and let me know what you think. And thanks for watching everybody and I will see you on the next one.